And a Pinal County woman stabbed 38 times. And deputies say the killer is her husband. 49-year-old Javier Lopez, now in custody, charged with first-degree murder. And the victim's family spoke with Fox 10's Kenzie Beach tonight. Kenzie joins us live with more. Yeah, guys, Christina Lopez's parents tell me that she was separated from her presumed killer. They believe that her decision to go forward with the divorce and wanting custody of their children led to her violent death. The heartbreak is unbearable. It's not supposed to be this way at all. A mourning family is grieving the loss of 43-year-old Christina Lopez, who they called Tina, a vibrant mother with a smile and laugh that would light up a room. Deputies say Priscilla and Keith Miller's son-in-law killed their daughter. He couldn't take it because he knew he would never get her back. Tina had separated from Javier Lopez back in November. Her parents say the two knew each other since they were teenagers. In recent years, the relationship becoming toxic. The children have witnessed it, and she couldn't take it anymore. Where she said, she told me she woke up going to bed crying and waking up crying. The family knew Tina had decided to move forward with a divorce. Unfortunately, I have to say, he took her life. When Tina didn't pick up one of her sons from a sporting event on April 11th, the family says it raised red flags. Pinal County Sheriff's deputies went to the Lopez home and found Tina on the kitchen floor stabbed 38 times. Deputies say Javier drove to the home with the couple's son, admitting to killing Tina. Court documents say the murder weapon and Javier's shirt and cell phone were left at the scene. The documents also say the son heard his mother's screams and cries from outside. His kids are afraid of him. They say Tina was the primary provider and caretaker for her three boys. The way I know she would have raised her kids, her sons, that's how we're going to try. It won't be mommy, but we'll do our best. The judge set a secured appearance bond at $1 million. Javier Lopez is set for a preliminary hearing on April 19th. Live in Phoenix tonight, Kenzie Beach, Fox 10 News. All right, Ty, thanks, 431. We are going to start with a Fox 10 News alert. There's a deadly crash under investigation of the East Valley. Dominique Newland joining us live from the scene. This is near Williams Field and Record Wrecker Road. Good morning, Dominique. What can you tell us? Uh, good morning, guys. Yeah, we are here on the intersection that is closed off in both directions. Uh, police have been out here just about since 2 o'clock this morning. What I can tell you, a really bad crash, uh, probably the worst that I've ever seen um, in my reporting experience. So this was fatal, and I want to give you a look at this red car you can see here. It's just completely unrecognizable. A lot of car parts in the road on both directions. Uh, information, it's limited at this time, but what I can tell you is that this happened at a, after 2 o'clock this morning. It involved two cars. One person was pronounced dead on scene. A second person was transported to the hospital for precautionary measures. And right now, this collision, it is being investigated by Gilbert Police's traffic reconstruction team. They say the closures here at this intersection of Wrecker Road and Williamsfield Road, it's expected to be in place for the next two hours because this is a, a big scene, a big crash here. Uh, like I was saying, a lot of car parts on the road. You can also make note of this speed limit. You can see 35 miles per hour here, which is fairly slow, so it's hard to tell uh, maybe if speeding here was a factor or impairment. We don't have those details yet, but uh, 35 miles per hour is that set speed on this road. There has been a tow truck that has arrived so far, and that second car that was involved is a little bit further down, but right now just a lot of car parts um, here out on the roads and even a pole behind I mean, that was knocked down, showing just how serious and um, how fast this crash happened, guys. The man whose body was found in a landfill last Wednesday has been identified. 60-year-old Sean Woodruff's body discovered at Southwest Regional Landfill in Buckeye. Because the landfill gets waste from many different areas throughout the valley, police don't know where his body came from. Woodruff was homeless and frequented the area around State Route 51 and Thomas. An autopsy is being done right now to figure out how he died. Police are asking anyone with information to contact them. New information about a fatal shooting involving two brothers over the weekend. 31-year-old Jordan Urban arrested Saturday night. Police went to the home near Brown and Ellsworth in Mesa. They found the body of his half-brother, 53-year-old Clark Urban. He'd been shot. 
SWAT TEAMS THEN MOVED IN WHEN JORDAN TRIED TO HIDE FROM POLICE. HE WAS EVENTUALLY TAKEN INTO CUSTODY. HE'S NOW CHARGED WITH SECOND DEGREE MURDER. IN MESA, POLICE ARRESTING A PARENT WHO THEY SAY ATTACKED A SCHOOL BUS DRIVER WHILE 11 KIDS WERE ON BOARD. 27-YEAR-OLD Ermina ILDA MARQUEZ IS CHARGED WITH AGGRAVATED ASSAULT. ACCORDING TO MESA PD, VIDEO FROM THE BUS SHOWS MARQUEZ ATTACKING THE 64-YEAR-OLD BUS DRIVER, HITTING HER IN THE HEAD AND THEN PULLING HER HAIR. Marquez accused the driver of saying things to her daughter, but the driver said she was a substitute for the route and didn't even know who this daughter was. The driver told police during the attack that things got so violent, her pacemaker shocked her heart at one point.